Hey, it's Trevor with eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Takansha T1 connector for our 2019 Nissan Rogue Sport. This plug is going to be great if you're using any small utility trailers or boat trailers that only have a four pole connection. Uh, and if you were wanting to tow something maybe that has a seven pole connection and you have another trailer that has a four pole, you can also pick up our product ETBC7. That's going to allow you to plug the four pole into the back of that and then splice a few extra wires and to give you a seven and a four pole connection. This installation process was very simple. It was just a quick pl two plugins here, two plugins there, one in the back for our trailer tow package. And then we just ran up front, pulled the cover off and put in a fuse to activate the tow package. Uh, if this still sounds maybe a little bit daunting or maybe you have a few questions on how to actually do that, uh, how about we go ahead and show you how to get that installed. To begin the installation of our wiring harness, you want to first open up the back hatch of your vehicle. And then on the left and right side, there will be one trim, one uh, push pin, and makes it easier, one trim panel tool, or if you have a flat head at home, you can just reach in there and pop that up. Once you've done that, go ahead and do it on the other side. You can stick a trim panel tool in here, find little pins and just slowly pry up on those to let those release. And then once you get those released, you can just pull up here and it'll, the rest should go with it. And then just set this off to the side. We're gonna have two other plastic push pieces. I'm just gonna want to pry those out there. And then one on the inside here. Once you got those pulled away, this carpet here will just come out. All right, now we're gonna remove these two 10 millimeter bolts that are holding our tail light in. Once you got those out of place, then we're gonna just grab a hold of our tail light and pull that straight back. And once you have that pulled out, you're gonna see the piece we're gonna need to disconnect here. And all you're gonna need to do is press in that inner tab. All right, once you got that plastic tab pushed in, you're just gonna pull straight out on that. Set your tail light to the side, and then we're gonna go ahead and get the wiring harness ran up here. We're gonna pull this grommet out before we run the wires up here. And then we're just gonna make a slight cut in the grommet itself. This is gonna be for whenever we put it back in place with the wires hooked up. All right, we went ahead and popped this panel loose a little bit so we could get a little bit more working room behind this carpeted area. All right, and once I got uh, this pulled back a little bit more, I also went ahead and took this plug down. This is what we're gonna use for the power supply to this harness. Uh, ours was actually taped to the factory wiring right up here. So if you're not seeing yours, just look up a little bit further. It's probably sitting back there taped up. All right, and now we're gonna go ahead and get the wires for the left side or driver's side to route up through this hole here. So we are gonna use the yellow and brown wires. Makes it easy if we turn that little square piece sideways. And then once we got that through there, go ahead, check these plugs. And then we're gonna use this side to connect our plugs together. All right, now you can go grab your driver's side tail light, plug that in there. Before we go ahead and plug the tail light in, we want to make sure that grommet goes back inside. So once we got that inside, give it a couple tugs, make sure it's fully set so that we don't have any leaks. And then we're gonna cover up that slit we made from earlier. We're gonna tuck some of the wire back in there because we're not gonna need that much wire left over. We're gonna hit it with a little bit of RTV silicone just to make sure we got that all nice and sealed up. All right, and now we're gonna go ahead and plug our tail light in 
to our wiring harness. And then we're gonna take these two pins and line them up to one rubber grommet there. And, and then one down here. And that's back in place. And now we'll go ahead and tighten down the two 10 millimeter screws. All right, with that in place, go ahead and get those hands started. And then once we got those going in straight, go ahead and tighten it down. All right, we're gonna do the same thing on this side to remove this, these push pins and get that carpet pulled back so we can get access to our tail lights. We can get it out there. And just like the other side, we wanna go ahead and wrap that up behind this carpet and push that in through the hole that our grommet came out of. And once you get that pulled through, go ahead and compare your connectors you got here. You see these two are the same, so we're just gonna go ahead and use this one here to make our first connection. All right, now we're gonna take the last connection from our wiring harness and get that plugged in. There you go. All right, once you get that lined up, just go ahead, line up those alignment pins like we did on the other side, place it back in, and slide it forward. Go up here to our factory ground, and get that removed. Once we have that removed, we have to go ahead and take the white wire with our ring terminal here. Throw our bolt inside of that. And then grab our other ring terminal. And then put that on hand tight. And then we're going to go ahead and figure out where our module is going to go from there. Before we connect the power, we want to make sure we remove this 15 amp fuse out of our fuse holder. And you may remember that plug I told you to go ahead and free up from our factory wiring harness. We're gonna go ahead and make that connection as that's gonna be what powers our module here. Just like the other ones, make sure that clicks into place so you know that it's on there secure. And then from there, we'll go ahead and find the spot we're gonna mount our modulite to. And for me today, I'm looking at putting it right on the inside of our body panel here, as it kind of gives us a good uh, amount of slack towards the ground and our power. And then we can tuck this red and green wire down underneath the threshold once we're done. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and get that self tapper put in place. Be very careful to not strip that screw out as well, because it is very easy to go ahead and to get that stripped whenever you're putting it in with any sort of tool. So don't get it tied down too, too tight. All right, now that we got everything hooked up back there, last thing to do is to put the fuse in. So to even access this, you're gonna to need to remove a covering that sits here. It's just two 10 millimeter bolts and one little Phillips head uh, plastic pin that goes here. After you get that out of the way, You'll have to remove both fuse box covers to access the one you need, but as we're looking at this towards the front, like so, this is going to be our horn relay. You'll have one fuse and then the trailer tow package here. And we just take the 30 amp fuse that we were provided in the kit and just go ahead and get that into place. Now that that's in, our wiring harness should be hooked up, so all we need to do is go ahead and test and make sure it's working right. Running lights. Now left turn signal, right turn signal, and your brake. And now that we've confirmed everything is in fact working on this trailer plug, what we'll do is go ahead and tuck some of this away. But before we get anything start to put back together, uh, there is two ways you could go about this. What you can do is you can just, you know, plug this up, put it underneath this panel here or tuck it under here with your spare tire carrier. 
Uh, but if you're maybe wanting to get a bracket too, which we have here at eTrailer, what you can do is there's a grommet down on the underside that we're about to tie this up to and pull underneath the vehicle. Like I said, we're gonna go ahead and get that pulled underneath the vehicle here. So just make sure you got all the wires for everything else out of the way and that nothing's really blocking you. Start to tuck this back behind this panel here. Uh, that's where the grommet's located. And I already have this taped up to our, uh, to our pull wire underneath the vehicle. But once you get that there, just go ahead and start to get that pulled on through. All right, like I said, we do sell these little brackets in case you want one for this wiring harness. And we did do a couple modifications, such as we put a new hole in the center here to mount it up to where this original push pin went for the fascia. And we also bent it a little bit so that it kind of sits more flush with the hitch and faces more outwards instead of up towards the air. But I do have a nut on the back side that I'm holding on with my wrench there. And we're just gonna try and get those lined up real quick. All right, we went ahead and got the four pole popped in place. We're gonna go ahead and bundle up this excess and hide up behind the bumper. Just make sure to keep that away from any moving components or anything that could generate heat, such as our exhaust here. And that'll conclude the installation of the Takancha T1 connector for our 2019 Nissan Rogue Sport.